Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of November reading for you all, November 16th through the 30th for Aquarius. How are you all today? I am doing great. I hope you guys are too. Oh, it's coming out. We're going to let it. <laughs> That's a good card. I've already meditated on the cards, you all. And this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. But it takes me a minute. Please be patient, okay? All right. Let's see what we got. The wheel card. The Ace of Wands. Nice. The Cernonos. The Lord. The Star, which popped up for you all, which is fantastic. And the Three of Wands. If you're clarifying, the Five of Pentacles. Prince of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Isn't that beautiful? A win-win solution. There's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. I love this card because it just tells me that two minds are better than one, basically. You might have a friend, a business partner, a sibling, a someone... And when you guys put your ideas together, everything works out a lot better. Give me just a minute, okay? I think that for some of you, there's going to be something that has been bothering you for a while. Something that has been um, negative in your life. Something that you need to finally get rid of and finally get um, out of that. Hold on, let me rephrase. The Sonono's card is like the devil card in other decks. So when I get it, it can mean different things. But overall, in general, in my mind, it means there's something negative in your life that you may need to release or let go of or slow down on or um, get out of your life. So the devil card, Sonono's card, can mean anything from an obsession. It can mean that you're doing something too much. And a lot of people think partying and drugs and alcohol and things like that, which it can mean those things, but it can also mean other things that you're doing too much of. Working too much. Um, shopping too much. You know, there's other things that you may have an obsession that you're doing too much of something that's not good for you. So you might need to slow down. You might need to take a look into your life and say, what is it exactly that I'm doing too much of or that has a ne negative impact on me? Sometimes when I get this card, it can mean that somebody might be... Um, hold on, I really did. I don't want to say that. I'm going to say it anyway, and I'm sorry. Cheating. I really, I was, I was trying to... <laughs> I was trying not to say that, but I, it came to my mind, so, uh, eh, sorry, y'all. But, maybe agreed a little bit in some ways, too. 
but overall in general, it's something negative that impacts your life. And then when I get this Five of Pentacles right here, the Cernonos, and then this Eight of Cups, like you're not going to put up with it anymore. You're going to turn your back on the situation. I kind of feel like you're about to. I think that this is coming to an end for you all. Because all of these other great cards are, are going to open up to you once this comes to an end. Once you actually hit, uh, go head on with this situation, whatever it is. Now, this could be anything from... Your kids aggravating you, your co-workers, your uh, partner, your family, your friends, your parents. It could go in a lot of different directions, right? But it could also be you doing something too much that you just really need to um, settle down on a little bit. But overall, in general, when you get rid of this negativity, when you turn your back on it, it ain't going to stress you out anymore. It's going to open up to all of these other better things in your life. Because the rest of these cards are beautiful. I mean, beautiful. This Three of Wands right here makes me feel like that. If you do have... This is almost like new opportunities that are blooming for you all. Something new and exciting that you might be waiting for it to take... Uh, you know... Let me think of how to word this. Usually I see this as new, a new business opportunity. Possibly a new career. Possibly you opening your own business or, or trying something new. I always see this as like you're giving yourself a lot more credit and you're realizing that whatever you set your mind on and whatever you focus on, you can actually do. Because you can. You guys know that, right? Please know that if you don't. Because with the wheel card, something new and exciting is happening or changing in your life, which could go in many, many directions. With this Lord, I could take it in different ways. I can say that you guys are wanting to own your own business with this Lord. You want to be the owner of your own company. You want to be the president. You have the abilities. You have the knowledge, you have the skills, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. These cards tell me that as well. But this could also tell, be telling me that there may be someone out there that might be wanting or willing to help you or giving you advice or um, giving you an opportunity somehow, some way. Whether it be a new job or whether it be someone giving you advice on how to open your own business. Maybe it's a father figure. He's, he's an authority figure. He's a, a big head honcho. So sometimes it's, it's he's an attorney or a banker or things like that. Maybe he can let, uh, get, get you some money if you're wanting to, to move somewhere or need money or need a loan or something like that. Somehow, some way, I feel like he's going to help you. So I kind of see him in two ways. I see him like you're wanting to be the head honcho over something and I also see him like he might be helping you become that possibly or helping you with a situation to move you forward because you are moving forward once this is released once you run for the hills and once you get turn your back on that situation it's like everything's opening up the ace of wands pops up New beginnings, possibly a new home, a new business, a new job, a new career, a new opportunity. But it could also be babies. It could be grandbabies. It could be um, just new beginnings in general. Maybe you're moving somewhere totally different. When I get the star card, you know, this is a wish card. Your wishes and dreams and hopes and prayers are coming true. All you need to do is focus. All you need to do is just realize that whatever you set your heart and mind and soul and, and make a goal and do it, you will. I have this Prince of Wands. Wands are fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. He could be male or female, any age with this younger masculine energy. Could be someone in your family that you might... Um, it could be this situation, I'm just going to say it. This person could be someone that you might need to
change something about, but it could also be someone that you're falling in love with. Maybe that's who you're having romantic feelings with. But it could also be a child or a friend or a, a co-worker, nephew, niece, family member that might be important to you, that might help you with this situation. If you're not dealing with a fire sign, they might have this mentality. He's very intelligent. He's very fiery. He wants to do things and he wants to do them right now. Sometimes when I see this picture, I feel like he might be like technology and things like that. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. It's a really good card, you all. I'm going to put this to the side for a second. When I get this Five of Pentacles, I kind of feel like you might be emotional about something. You might be stuck over something. You might be thinking about from the past or, or thinking, how am I supposed to deal with this? And it could be over this um, negative, negative situation in your life, whatever that situation is. And I've already explained it. It can go many, many directions. It could be a person or something that they're doing. It could be a child of yours or um, a relative or someone to that extent that's aggravating you to death about something too. But there's going to be a situation, I feel, that you're going to say, you know what, I can't take it no more. I'm going to turn my back on that situation. That, that is not good for me anymore. So if this is your child, and I'm not saying you're going to turn your back on your child. I'm just saying you're not going to deal with this situation anymore. Maybe they went to jail. Maybe they're in trouble. Maybe they're doing drugs and you don't approve. But maybe this is you too and this is just negative energy that you're going to have to release and, and walk away from. Because I feel like you're going to. And when you do, it's going to open up a whole new life for you in a lot of ways, in my mind anyway. This life could have something to do with this fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male, female. They could be what you're running from, but they could also be someone helping you or something that, someone that's guiding you along to this better path in your life. Because I all of a sudden see the things opening up and the sun starts shining and the, the um, opportunities start coming in for you. This Three of Wands just makes me feel like this is a great time for a new opportunity. Possibly a new business, a new career, and a change in your life. Something growing, something getting better. Maybe if you already have a business, you want to open a second business or make it bigger. With this Lord right here, I see him in two ways. He could be you, showing me that you can be the owner of your own company. You can be your own boss. You can be the leader. But it also shows me that possibly someone else might be out there willing to help you or that you need help from. Whether it be an attorney or a, a, a banker, someone giving you a job, someone giving you opportunity, someone giving you advice, someone helping you somehow, some way. Because with the wheel, to me, this is a change coming. A change that's going to be better, I think, in your life, especially with the rest of these beautiful cards. So you could be doing anything with this wheel could be moving homes, you could be moving to a different place, having babies or grandbabies or retiring or new jobs, new careers, new relationships, getting out of one into a new one, you know, especially with this romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They feel the same way about you, you all. If you have this relationship, they're crazy about you. With this Ace of Wands, it just says new beginnings. It's also like a creativity. It's, it's you wanting to do something. You starting to do something that you've been wanting to do for a while. Changing up your life a little bit in a better way. In a happier way. Because with this star card, 
your hopes and wishes and prayers are coming true. This is a really beautiful reading for you all. A win-win solution. There's strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. I love this card, especially with this reading. It makes me feel like that there might be some of you guys that are wanting to get into a business partner. And like I said, this could be a friend, a, a, a relationship partner, or even just a business partner. And you could possibly be wanting to open a new business, new opportunities. Maybe that's where this Lord's coming in. But it makes me feel like that between the two of you, if you are in this situation, the two of you can bring great things in to this partnership and make it much better than just one of you. So always be open to other ideas and other people's um, ways of thinking. Because they might be the right ways, along with your ways. This is a great reading, Aquarius. I hope to goodness you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. This is beautiful. Um, just one little negative, neg negative situation that you just need to get rid of. And once you do, everything else opens up. Alright, this is your second half of November reading, November 16th through the 30th reading for Aquarius. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.